um, have a truce with. I don't have one with Korea, but would they even do that? I don't know. Did she just become a great power again? Oh yeah, we put the great in great power. Soon we're gonna triumph over Russia. That's how badass we are. Let's get that army tradition, because I need it, and very soon we'll be able to get even better morale. I'm looking forward to those days. So what are we gonna do with all this everything we have? Why don't we make incursions into Liang? These are the guys who want to kill, after all. Don't like how Ming separatists took over here, but we'll deal with that in due time. I just hope they're not going to fade away. Um, this is actually bugged out and it's fixed in 119. I'll be able to see their progress. Even if they do go away, I can just crush Ming. It's not a real problem. It's a fake problem. Right, well, Wu Ling needs to go down. We say it and it shall be so. Still, none of us have any. Nope, I speak wrong. Shu has a siege pip. This will go well. Well, I mean, it'll go better than it otherwise could. Ning still have units, but I think they've been consolidating hard. What's sad is that they're mostly uh, infantry. Korea doesn't seem to want out of this anytime soon. Well, never say never, Princeton. This I also don't like. It's only farmlands, but I would still love to crush those Korean bastards. Might be more important than taking Wu Ling, actually. Because I can really put the hurt on these Koreans. Shoot, those aren't my units. They're mostly my vassals. And my units would be in the front runners there. Okay. Mm. Yep, I'm going to help them out. protected. Still, it's kind of important that we maintain this fort here. Uh, I hope we reach there in time, because that would be the tragic tale. Nah, eight days is plenty. We'll be there. The cowards have attacked us, sire. Well, the cowards are gonna die. With or without Liang back. Ah, that's a lot of Liang back up. Mm, that's a long way to go. I think I just have to believe in my units here, but holy smokes, they're outnumbering us heavily here. It's like two to one. Ning is flowing in, but uh, Liang's all of their help is going to be in in no time. We're still the defender, and they're going to be eating river crossing penalty, but I might still want to bring in extras. Damn, it's a topsy-turvy route for me. Crush these guys can't be doing with these. I don't like my units being on the back row since mine are considerably stronger than our friends here. Phew! Mana pure saves the day all day every day. Get the hell out of my country. Yeah. I bloody hate the Chinese, but dare I say I'm getting a soft spot for these guys in Ning. Not just because I like Gan Ning from Dynasty Warriors, maybe. Uh, that sends them back in a bit, thank goodness. Jake, which institutions spawn in China? None specifically, but you can get them to spawn there if you're good. Losing great power status already. What a dying what a time to be alive. Alright, it's Almost worth increasing autonomy on these two, but, I mean, they're going to revolt anyway. I'll just hold out. I'll win the war in time that I can deal with that. Uh, how's that for an election promise? I need to group my units together because, holy smokes, we're getting pummeled here. As long as I hold one fort... Oh, shoot. Xi'an is the target here. I should be sieging that one down after we get the Wu, uh, the Wu Ling clan down. We only have feudalism, which we had to fight for. Uh, ooh, nice. Right, time to get working on Xi'an. Oh, I forgot about Wu Chang, didn't I? It's alright, I forget about many things. Just get over there. Ning are dirty traitors. Not to be trusted, ever. 
Alright, we've got a great person up here. Don't like our uh, air, though. I'm very tempted to just Vasca the air. I demand perfection. That said, I should probably invest in getting myself a consort at the very least. So... I already have my royal ties with you. I like Bhutan. I wouldn't mind having a Bhutanese consort. Well, she's got it where it counts. Dali no longer renting to Ayutthaya. Not that they'd need it, but that's hoping that they're not about to rent out to Dali. Now we're actually doing good on the lack of Condottieri frontier. I want these cannons over in Xi'an soon, though. Xi'an is farmland, so it's easy enough to defend in. DDR Jake says, Prestige does not matter in battle. Uh, prestige matters a lot in battle, but you know that. You're just capering. Son of a gun. Right, I need Wu Ling and Xi'an down in a heartbeat. I would love to keep destroying these guys, but uh, Korea are not tired enough for all this. I would release Mong Yang? No, no, and more hell no. Alright, that's good. We can... Maybe if Ning even want to help me out here. I don't think they do. Well, if they want to march over to Wuchang, or just defend their own lands, then I'm happy enough with that. But I need this province down. And I could get to work on this one. But I could also bring Langshang's Master of Arms over. No, we have Shun's Master of Arms, so that's okay. This is splitting us up a bit, more than I would want to, but we can handle it. Well, actually, I really don't like going close to so many units like that. We will hold back in uh, Shangyang. Just a little terrified of him, just a little. But we'll be getting 8 war score from all of this, and I'm wondering why I have so little war score. Yeah, battles are contributing to it all, don't they just? Uh, we're hitting that manpower deficit. I remember when I said, uh, no manpower and you're dead. Come on, 21. Not good enough. I want to crush these guys. We still have Dai Viet's mighty army. They'll help us out till the day they or we die. And Dali is uh, busy dealing with Lang Shang. That's excellent news for me. Right, hopefully we take this and I crush these damn units. No, not to, not today. Jake, build more ships. I don't want to trouble my money right now. Pegu, uh, I mean, they're going to revolt anyway, but... They're going to revolt anyway, but... Is he attacking me? Most of his other units are down here. He might have some uh, Koreans backing him up, but I'm still confident we can destroy him. Confident we can destroy him. This I'm not so confident about. He's going for running. Huh. Uh, I should probably back him up over here in what's it's. Well, he might be attacking here. He might be bringing everything he can over here. I think that's more likely than anything else. But I could just hold my hold myself here in the hills. If he attacks me here, I can detach a small unit here and bring the rest of them over to attack in in uh, Shangyang, which I think is a preferable idea. <coughs> I just know he's not going for Wu Chang. Unfortunately, none of these guys are going the way I want them to. And he's definitely going for Xiang. It's okay, I can bring the pain over to him. Uh, we have some fairly good generals. 333 seems to be what we're going to be hitting him with. And I think you'll get a river crossing penalty as well. Oh wait, no, we're playing on uh, old rules. Oh well. Bring him down. There's a difference between you and me, Liang, and that difference is military... 
Tech 12. God, it feels good to be great. Manpower seems to be just a number today. So, okay, that attitude is winning us wars here, so I don't need to worry. Whew, that battle opened the doors to the entire domination of Liang. And you know what else, Ning? I will reward you for this. Maybe not richly, but I will reward you for this. Okay, Liang cannot be given any second chances here. I need to do what I gotta do here. What do I gotta do? I need to have Ming not revolt away from you, so... Oh, damn, that's where Korea is. Still gonna have you on that. I want my cannons over there, and I want you guys backing them up. Although, take a, take a fancy D tier, will you? Whew. Another stack wipe. Far smaller, but every bit as important. That, that was a lie. Hmm. Okay, Liang is so going to die. Might as well employ uh, crap dicks, as I will now call them. Or I just harass them with uh, pretty crappy units. We're still below force limit, thankfully. But we have Pegu separatists that are ready to uh, come and ruin my day. Damn, I want to 100% these guys, but my own country is about to feel the burn. Nah, those Pegu guys are nothing. We just need to crush Liang while you're here. Lang Shang is going to also feel the pain, but that's okay. They're a big guy. What about these Koreans? If I eradicate the Koreans, then it's a lot less that I have to deal with, right? Alright, Ning's on the case. Ganning was a pretty cool guy, I thought. Used to play as him was play as him quite a bit. Uh, where are my where are my buddies? These are mountains. I am not foolish enough to be engaging him in mountains. Damn. Oh damn, I got locked there. I didn't think I'd get movement locked. Oh well, mountain fight it is then. Manipur definitely has a higher ID than uh, than them, so that was bad for me. I got wiped because my units arrived first. I did not intend for that to happen, but I got movement locked faster than I thought. Well, it happens. Unfortunately, a lot of my units are about to die there. Okay, he is desperate for peace. I... I do want Xi'an for my lovely vassal Shun. And I want to feed my good friend Ning here. We should be focusing on forts here. But I want to be able to come back for more. You already, for some reason, have lost your alliance. No, you have an alliance with, uh, with Korea, so I can kill that. But I should be more greedy. It's not like I have aggressive expansion around here. Okay, well I do with you. But I still want that, uh, that core back. Don't let Liang turn into another Dali. Take 100% land from them. Alright, I guess Ning is going to have to be my Ning... Uh, my friend. Come on, Ning, you've got the power to take them on. But I would need to get Korea out of this, and I don't think they're very keen on that. I'd have to trash them a wee bit more for them to be uh, believing that that's a good idea. Once I take Liang's capital, then all is well. 
I hope you go for Wu Chang. Oh no, you're running away to running, however, that might be cause for concern. Greedy R Jake. That's good. Don't don't get that one often, do I? Okay. Let's go running in the nineties here. Unfortunately we are hemorrhaging money here, and I don't really want to be debasing for that. Uh, we got those reps as well, that's going to prevent coring. Mm. Also, the longer I stay like this, the bigger a target I am. Maybe we won't go for 100%, but I want his capital, if nothing else. Right, he's he's going to catch us here. Unless we're fast. Fast. No, like I said, we have a uh, higher ID than him, so he will smack us, and then we will lose this battle. Hopefully it won't cost us much war score, but you never know with these things. Yeah, that's a lot of war score to lose. It's not. What is the currency for if not debasing in war, Jake? You make a good point, but I don't want to debase at this point. Eh, it's worth it to completely crush Liang, though. I'll give you that. But I want his capital. And I'll probably send my units down to deal with those reps once they're done here. If they're ever done there. Uh, oh, no, that's on our side. Amazing. Something positive happening? I mean, I couldn't believe it either. Just wow. Hell, man, I can retire. Alright, Kefeng is down. Don't know what to do with you guys, although crashing Korea is very appealing. If I just stick it to him again, he might be more keen on getting out of this war. And again, this is more of a siege stack than anything else, so maybe we should go to Feng Yang, or maybe these guys are running north. How about we finish them off? Finish the fight! Uh, he's locked in on that. Yes, we can finish the fight. It's your guy's job to go and deal with those Pegu traitors. Come on, man. Finish it. Mm -mm. I'm not scared of however many Chinamen you have up north. I hate the Chinese. I will stack wipe and stack wipe and stack wipe some more. Mm, I mean, Ning should be able to deal with that, but can I trust them? I don't trust Chinese. I don't trust Chinese. Jake, what does the religious map look like? Currently, delicious. Look at that little animism blob there. As it should be. Because we're going for the uh, take all of China and convert it to animism achievement. It's going to take you uh, half a year to get down there, but that's okay. It'll be more okay if I give you more speed. He's fast. Go and bleed for me, my mercenary scum. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's running south. He has nowhere to go. We've blocked him off. He's a very dead Korea man. And they're just discount Chinese, the Koreans. So I don't... I feel like this is uh, our destiny. To crush each and every Chinaman that we find. Okay, lads. The war is essentially won. You don't need to keep attaching to this uh, siege unit here. We will still help out with the Nanjing siege, though. Dark Binder says WTF is animism. What the hell? It's it's the one religion that's been in this game all game. It's older than Theravada, it's older than Mahrayana, it's older than Tengri. And some people just have no appreciation for the classics. 
Might as well live up to our uh, sieging ways. This I'm not so happy with, but that's okay. This I'm also not so happy with, but it's still okay. This being a jungle, I'm also not so happy with, so we can worm our way around into Pegu. And yeah, we have one siege, and maybe even some cannons? No, that would be asking too much. Excellent. I'm getting dangerously close to needing a loan, though. Our army maintenance is too high. So I should merge you guys together to try and save a bit of it. Might even have to get rid of the mercs. Might even have to get rid of the mercs. It's not even the mercenaries that are costing me here. But you are. You're costing me a lot. There we go. Now we can make a positive. Jake, remember Glorious EU3 Animism? Oh, it was anything but. Alright, Liang gave up their alliance with Korea. I don't even have to force them out of this. This means we'll be able to get Korea out of this before too long. Hmm. <laughs> and they're still our condottieri. What a good day to not die. Wish I had this province, though. Uh, actually, could I tell you to do that? Shun, get to it. I say jump, he says. How high, boss? Hmm, relocating to Sandaway. will be there on the 24th of June this year. Uh, that'll be our defense in jungle. I quite like that. I'll be having it. Opportunism. It brings money poor far. But I only have 10 years before I have to strike these guys somehow, some way. I think I'm just going to have to fight Dali. But La Na is still a problem. How can I deal with this? You need positive prestige for your threat to be taken seriously. Oh, we'll get that. Still, though, I need to go to war with Dali and La Na within ten years, or Langshang's cores go kaput. And both those sets of cores are worth quite a lot of... Um... Yeah, good, that's been reset. Both those cores are worth quite a lot. Did Ayutaya take that from Dali recently? Or did Dali just... No, I think Dali's been groping away at Diviate for quite some time. Jake, don't forget to fabricate some claims somewhere. This is a good point. Lana was on my to-do list, but now I don't need to, since I have reconquest all over them. Changsheng are a sitting duck, so... I should be building a spy network on them. Even if Ning is going to be unhappy with me over it. Come on, Shun. Defend like you mean it. They did. That's a funny thing. Okay, so they did arrive, but they're going to die. Because we have uh, Master of Arms. 220. Nice, I like it. Still gonna have to scrunch together and get you guys on that case, and then boom, done. Those are those accursed dallies that we rented out. Thankfully, Ning is on the uh, on course for that. And as long as Ayutaya, damn, Ayutaya is gonna hit Miltech six before too long. I can't really afford some corruption right now. Mm. And I might taking a bit of a stab hit. Because it's relatively cheap for us to bring that up. <clears throat> Would be cheaper if I had some patience, but who has that?
Jake blocky, Blockade Pegu for the siege. Ah, yeah, that's right. We're fighting nobody that can really reach us with their boats. So thanks for remembering. Because I certainly never remember this stuff. Ning is still high on this war. It'll be even higher when we give them the likes of Nanjing. Because I want to strip away Liang's forts. Their forts give them power. So that would be the likes of Wu Ling, Wu Chang, Nanjing. And who wants to rise up now? Meow. I don't even care about these guys. I mean, it's a damn near worthless province. But they're going to revolt anyway. And my army is in pieces here. Korea can surely not want to be in this war much more. Let's try and uh, get them out. Otherwise, we'll help out with sieges where we can. As if AI boats don't have infinite range. Oh, well, they do, but they don't use it, if that makes much sense. Or they try not to use it. Heavens knows intention and reality can be wildly different things. Ah, uh, close, but not close enough. Still, I mean, I have the war score to take essentially what I want out of this guy. Shun might be worth grabbing extra land for. Since I am going to be integrating them very soon. So if they take uh, Langjong and... Well, no, I should really be focusing more on forts, but... The forts are deeper into the country, and I don't like border gore galore. It's also 36 uh, Blumen. Yeah, 36 development's quite a lot to be taking. So if I took these three, they're the only ones that might want to coalition me. Coalition of the willing as ever. And if I strip Nanjing, Wu Chang, and even Wu Ling away from you, that's going to make Ning super happy. And of course, the money. There's no longer any treaties to annul. I don't want you allying with Dali, though. If you guys are still friendly, then I need to see about that. Neutral friendly. Okay, and what I can do then is annul your treaties with Dali, and that will make me certain that you guys can't ally for the next ten years. Uh, you're mutual friendly with Ayutthaya. Well, you are not going to be able to ally uh, Ayutthaya, I promise you that does mean I have to push them harder or not take so much land. But I mean, Nanjing is so much to take away from them that I really want to. And I have them on the ropes, I might as well. Jake Shun at 47% liberty desire. 48, I'll have you know. I'd be even angry if I enforced religion on them. But no, we don't have to worry too much about them. They, they see the funny side of life. Plus, I can develop in them if I really want them to uh, to go down. Ha. Come on, lads, we need this one down. And they're actually in a good position to just attack us outright. Hmm. Uh. I don't think those uh, key guys are so hot at fighting and they don't have a lot to read any of my units to help out on oh, the front line at least I'll probably get back up from there I really want to fight again especially with my regulars I don't want to peace out enough I'm not getting the Wu Ling but I'd have to settle for even less than that I will take the fight to them come and have some then Oh dear. What happened to Key? Oh. I see what happened to Key. That's bad. That's that's get the hell out of their territory. Well. Well damn. I don't think I like you very much, Key. All cabin cannon strats. Yeah, they're not working out for me. 
And now Shun are very angry and I don't have their prestige to bring them down, so I would actually have to develop them to uh, make them see the light now. Not sure if I gave them any farmlands. So at least it's not very expensive to develop in them. And that development becomes 